What is going on guys? This is Ben here in today's video. We have another awesome opening for you guys. This one is another 2002 old school tin and this one's going to be the Joey B Skull Dragon or the Black Skull Dragon. So we have some awesome packs in here. Along with this tin, uh, what I usually do, I'm also going to be opening up a Montage Dragon tin. You say photo sealed that has the first edition Duels Genesis in there. Um, so we'll be doing two tins. But the main prize right here is this one right here. So hopefully we get some awesome cards. I'm really excited. Uh, hopefully the card in the back or the card, the promo card, the Black Skull Dragon isn't damaged because as you guys know, these tins are so old and they placed it kind of stupid in the back, but it's fine. Uh, but definitely like if you guys are enjoying the series of uh, me going throughout the 2002 tins, I want to get through all of them. I think I have the, I think I have some of the Kaibo ones as well, but we're gonna pop the tin open here. Hopefully we get some awesome pulls for you guys. I'm hoping to get at least one or two fo foils out of here uh, in addition to the promo card. But guys, I hope, like I said, I you guys seem to really actually enjoy the old openings. Uh, the support on the channel has been amazing. So you guys are awesome. So I'll continue to keep doing them. And if there's any other sets though, um, that maybe aren't super old or anything, maybe it's newer, let me know. There we go. That one was, uh, <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> Couldn't get the tin, but we got our two Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon packs. And then we have our two metal raiders. You guys know the deal now because I've opened up the I've opened up the basically Yugi's one. And now I'm going on to the Joey's and then I'll go on to the Kaiba's. But we got our one magic ruler, not spell ruler. And then there we go. You can see the black skull dragon. I'm gonna try and hopefully it doesn't Yes, this is good. This one is perfect. See the back, how the back of the card is in near mint condition? These tins, since they have them on the back, if you watch my other tin openings with the Summon Skull and the, the Dark Magician, it really just depends on maybe how much the tin has moved, how much the owner before they just let this tin sit, but there we go. We got the Black Skull Dragon, Secret Rare, Limited Edition, looking amazing. This card is awesome. Let you look at it. And well, it's it's kind of hard to, since the dark, it's really dark card to be honest compared to like my lighting, but just look at it. All it requires is one Summon Skull and one Red Eyes Black Dragon, or Red Eyes B Dragon. 3200 attack, 2500 defense. That card looks awesome. And this one's like in perfect condition. I really, really am digging that one. That looks awesome. I don't think I've ever actually owned this card, especially considering how old it is too. So hard to find it in good condition. So awesome there. Um, I'm gonna silence my phone, you might be hearing that. And then there's actually nothing else in the tin there, but like I said, we will continue to open up the series of the 2002 tins, and then we'll move on to like 2003s. Or I might, I might not always. Okay, I might not go in order, but eventually I'll open all of them in uh, in due time. So just stay tuned. But we got our, we're gonna do the Magic Ruler right off the start. Mystic Plasma Zone. We've actually been having having like decent luck out of these packs and these tins. So we got Senju of the Thousand Hands. That's actually not a bad rare to get. If you guys don't know what this does. Basically, search out uh, when this card is summoned to the field, excluding special summon. You may remove, or you may move one ritual monster card from your deck to your hand. This deck is then shuffled, or the deck is then shuffled. So that's our rare. We got ceremonial bell. Just look at the old school cards. Giant turtle who feeds on flames. And then also we got hungry hamburger. One, <laughs> one of my favorite cards, man. Literally, hungry hamburger. This monster can only be a ritual summoned with the ritual magic card. Hamburger recipe. You must also offer monsters who total levels of stars equals six or more as tribute from the field or for your hand. I think I said that, I read that kind of weird, but whatever. Hunger Hamburger. One, I just laughed. Even when I was a kid, this is one of my like, just cards that I would just, every time I would see it, I just laugh like, oh my gosh. This attack isn't even that good. It's only 2000. The Hungry Hamburger. I think that was one of the first fusion monsters I ever owned too. So there's that, but uh, go on for the Metal Raiders. I'm just happy that this card is actually like not da like not damaged or scratched from the bag. It's like in perfect near mint condition. Then we got little the little swordsman of Alley, block attack, big eye, gazelle, the king of mythical beasts, and we have a Sangon rare, immortal of thunder, mega thunderball, bottom dweller. It's just so nice to see how simple these uh these monsters are. So our rare Sangon, and then we have gazelle, the mythical beast, one of Yugi's monsters. All right, so no hollows just yet. Um, like I said, the other tins that we opened had crazy hollows in them. Like we got extremely lucky. Legend of Blue Eyes has been pretty kind to us. We'll see if that happens again today. But we got Cocoon of Evolution. <laughs> you may treat this card as an equipped magic card on, on a face-up petite moth on the field. 
When equipped, the attack and defense of Petite Moth becomes the same as Cocoon of Evolution. In the show, Weevil, like, dominated people with his, like, cocoons and ultimate insect moth and stuff. In, in real life, they were so hard to actually make. Music King, Protector of the Throne. A lot of cards were actually like that, because they kind of just, like, said, screw the rules. Pale Beast, and did whatever they want. So we got Shadow Ghoul. Increase the attack of all monsters by 100 for each monster in your own graveyard. Attack of this monster, sorry. Tremendous Fire. Trent. Guardian of the Woods. I think this was... He reminds me of the tree that's in um, Golden Sun. The original Golden Sun. Punished Eagle. And Armed Zombie. Is that Armored Zombie? Armored Zombie. So our rare is the Shadow Ghoul. So three rares so far. Down to the Legend of Blue Eyes. See if we can get any hollow. Um, honestly, if we if we don't end up getting a hollow, that's it's okay. I mean, like the other tins more than make up for what we have, and it's just cool to even get like this. This in itself, a good condition is is awesome to see. The thirteenth grave, and this is also like awesome to seeing like these old school original cards. And we got Fisher, and then that is our rare. Sorry, it, it confused me. I couldn't tell off with my lighting if that was the rare or not, but it is the title. Destroy one face up monster with the lowest attack, or destroy. Destroy one opponent's face-up monster with the lowest attack. So, we got a lot of mon- look at that, we got a lot of vanilla monsters in this pack. <laughs> we got the one- well the two spells, one was the rare and then we got sparks. Alright, we're down to the last Legend of Blue Eyes and then we'll get to the Yusei Tin. Kinda like the old school news. And the reason why in most of the videos I accompany the Yusei Tin in here is because I have a bunch of them to open, get through them. So I was like, why not? Just throw them onto the awesome videos, or uh, the awesome tin videos. Hope you guys like enjoy the old school stuff though. It seems like you really do. Lesser Dragon, Masaki the Legendary Swordman, M Warrior 1. Let's see if Legend of Blue Eyes can clutch up for us. And no, we got Kabalian, Ka Karboli, Carbon Ala Warrior. Uh, this is actually a decent um, instant fusion target if you really needed to get like a level four out there. So that's actually not a bad pull, even though it's not a hollow. Still decent. So level four. Connect C with it. So now we'll get into our next tin. The Montage Dragon. The UC fo the UC Photo. It's hoping for that Ghost Rare Stardust out of the first edition Duels Genesis. Yeah. Got that one off. We'll move these up a little bit so I don't damage them. Like I said, guys, I'm just happy that we finally hit good, a good promo in there without the damage back. That's a nice one. I, I tried to show you the back and it's in the sleeve. <laughs> My bad. And then we got the newer school. Figured it out. They put the, the promos in the front. The Montage Dragon. We've already seen a bunch of those. Are right off the front. Two Stardust Dragon. Or, uh, Stardust Dragon. First Duelist Genesis. The first edition packs. One Phantom of Darkness. And then our promos. We already know what the promos are and all that. So I'll gently. Not gently. <laughs> set the tin on the ground. Alright. So promos. We've already seen a bunch of those. We'll start off with the Phantom of Darkness. And people are wondering what my my pin is that I use. It's actually a Clash Royale one. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I do have a Clash Royale channel. Um, has a bunch, I think like, has a lot more now than what I said last time. I think it has like Obsidian Dragon. It has, I think, 640 some thousand subscribers. So it's decent. We got Call of the Earthbound. Dark Crusader, Chain Summoning. Fine. And Ch Cannon Soldier MK2. You can, tribute, you can tribute two monsters to inflict 1,500 damage to your opponent. Ah, that's, that's not that great of an effect. So our, our rares, our new school rares, we'll keep down though. Um, Light of Light of Destruction. And these tins have been pretty OP for us. Open these bad boys up. See what we get. So we got Short Circuit. Volcanic Queen. Summon Limit. L the Lady in the, the Wit. I was going to say Lady in the White. The Lady in the Wit. Glorious Illusion, Reversal of Fate, Quick Charger, Portable Battery Pack, and Karoth, the Lightstorm Warrior. So, so far, no luck so far with the hollows and the tins. I mean, that, that honestly, tin, tins are so random with their hollows. Like, you can't expect to get foils like we were at the rate we were at all times. But we got Cross Porter, Sanguine, Sang, Sang, Sanguine Swamp, and oh, we got an Ultra Rare though. As soon as I said that, ultra rare, maximum six out of light of destruction. When this card is tribute summoned, roll six sided die. This card gains attack equal to the result of the die roll times 200. Maximum six. Looks pretty sweet. I don't think I've ever actually seen that card. 
to be I'm just being brutally honest and completely honest we got an ultra rare um, it is only requires one tribute but say you roll a six adds 1200 he would put him up to 3100 so our first hollow then we have to sleeve up our montage dragon I totally forgot about that boom maximum six is our ultra rare our first hollow out of the packs but let's hope duelist Genesis can clutch up here that'd be insane if we pull that ghost that ghost rare stardust out of nowhere. We got Cool Boat Hedgehog, Telepathic Power, Gladiator Beast SK, Psy Station, and we have Maiden of Mac Macabre. Each time this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, place one spell counter on it. This card gains 200 attack for each spell counter on it. Turbo Booster, Tricky Spell, Oyster Meister, Oyster Meister, Meister. All right, so down to the last pack, out of two tins, we got one hollow. Like I said, like the tins that we were opening up before, the old school ones with the, the Yugi Summon Skull, Dark Magician, those were crazy to get that amount of hollow, hollows that we did in the other white Yusei Photo tin. So we'll see if we can clutch up though. I mean, we're just basically praying to get any sort of hollow here. It'd be cool. Maybe an ultimate rare. Cool Boat Hutchog and Izanami once again. So sadly, this tin was a little bit lackluster than normal. The only, the main bright spot was one, we got an ultra rare out of our Yusei photo tin, so that wasn't a bad tin. But the bright spot of the the Joey tin was it had the black skull dragon undamaged. So that's what I'm really excited about. Even though we didn't pull a hollow, it's fine as long as this card is in mint condition, which it is. So I'm excited for that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, we'll be coming at you eventually, getting through all of the old school tins and maybe do another, because you guys seem to like the Dark Magician tin, so did I. So I might pick up another one of those and do that, because that's one of my favorite cards for sure. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I guess we'll do the recap for the old school rares. Carbo Car Carbonala Warrior, a great instant fusion target for XCs and whatnot. We got Fissure, Shadow Ghoul, Sangan, and Senju of the Thousand Hands. Making sure that was five. And then for our rares from the Yusei Photo Tin, Izanami, Maiden of Macbray, Glorious Illusion, and Call of the Earthbone. And then our one ultra rare from there was Maximum Six. But the old school Black Cell Dragon just by far is an awesome looking card. I wish you guys could see it in person because I know my lighting is a little dark. So it's so hard to see just the awesomeness of it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video though. Subscribe to the channel. We'll be back at it, open some awesome, awesome packs. And I'll see you guys later.